Well, let's talk about tobacco. I got a few seeds a couple years back. We planted some of the seeds and the plants grew. We collected those seeds, we put them around, and now I've got tobacco like this in various gardens. This is a big surprise to me uh, because tobacco is actually one of my least favorite plants because I'm against smoking. Um, there's actually a rule here in the Bosque that you can't smoke. But uh, I've got stuff growing and I want to grow things that don't need water all the time. So here's a tobacco plant. First time in my life I've ever seen one is here. It's very weird texture. It's kind of resiny, kind of sticky. And then here's the seed balls. So what we're going to do today is we're going to collect some of the seeds because there's going to be thousands and thousands and thousands. Next year I can have as many tobacco plants as I want. It's kind of a funny thing. Uh, I have a rule against smoking here in the Bosque. But now I have this tobacco. Now there's reasons I'm against smoking. We can talk about those later. For now, we're just trying to get to know this plant. What I'm going to do is pick some of these little pods and then dry them out and the seeds will fall out. Each one has like a lot of seeds. I'll get one that's dry over here. All right, let's take a look here. So this one single pod has like, what is that, 100 seeds maybe? So I'll, cut, I'll get these seeds and I'll put them all in these paper bags and we'll dry them out so they don't rot. Uh, and we'll plant them next year. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to harvest some leaves. So I don't know much about tobacco, but if I just cut off a few leaves here, that shouldn't hurt the plant. And I want to dry those leaves out. So here's the solar dehydrator. The sun hits this black part. The air travels up into this box. Now it's hotter and therefore it's thirsty air. It can hold more, inner, more uh, humidity. So we'll put the leaves in here. And I've got some I put in here earlier. So we're going to harvest those out of here. We're going to see what we can do with these dried leaves. So I'm going to label my bag of seeds, tobacco, in the year 2016. Now I have to think about what tobacco is useful for. With every single plant I've got here, and I've got 350 or more, more now, on my list, uh, my spreadsheet of what plants we grow, I think, what do I do with them? So tobacco is a new one for me. Uh, I'm going to crunch some of it up and try and make a cigarette. That's an obvious choice. But I'm not a big fan of cigarette smoking. My lungs are fairly weak. And uh, also cigarette smoking is a health hazard worldwide. Of course, this is organic tobacco. Uh, I, apparently, they put a lot of bad stuff in cigarettes, and I don't know why they do that. I should actually investigate. Why would they do that? Um, why not just sell tobacco as it is? But I'll crunch this all up. And I've got a, quite a bit of it here. Now, as far as other uses, we could make a chew. Uh, that would be interesting. Now, apparently, using a tobacco chew a lot, uh, people get mouth cancer. But again, we wonder, is that because of the tobacco, nicotine, or the chemicals they put in it? As far as drugs go, apparently nicotine is not really that terrible. It's, it's very addictive, but uh, it doesn't really hurt your body very much. I'm pretty sure I don't like the feeling of nicotine, but we'll find out. Uh, other uses, uh, I can think we might be able to make a, a bug poison, because nicotine is extremely poisonous. So maybe I could make something to spray on plants that had pests on them. I usually don't do that, but... Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll find out. I'll have to do some research. In any case, I've got some papers here lent to me by a friend. And I'm uh, not very good at rolling cigarettes, but I'm going to try it out. I haven't done this in many years, and it wasn't with tobacco. Um, so I'll put some in here. I should probably grind it up pretty, pretty finely, actually. And then if I understand correctly, I'm supposed to uh, lick this. And 
and then attempt to roll it. Not sticking very well. I wonder if I licked the wrong side. Try that again. I know you're laughing at me, anyone who's smoked a lot, but this is how it goes. It doesn't seem very gluish. Yeah, lick it first. Dump stuff in there real fast. Does it stick? I'll try it again. Let's pretend the first one didn't happen. Maybe if I kind of twist it like a joint. I think this is what they have pipes for. I'm gonna go make a pipe out of a carrot. Uh. Well, I finally succeeded at making a reasonably good one. Well, it wasn't actually me, it was my assistant. But uh, that's what assistants are for. Let's try it out. And I guess I should inhale it. <coughs> ah. 
lovely. Uh, well, it works. It is a cigarette. I still think a pipe would be better, but apparently it functions. <coughs> well, we'll soon find out if this tobacco really works or not. Oh yeah, I'm starting to feel kind of lightheaded. Uh, well, maybe that's because I can't breathe. Uh, oh, it's so sad. Oh yeah, that works. I'm starting to feel a little jittery. I hope my mother doesn't see this. <coughs> okay. That's it. That's all I can do. I guess I'll just wait here and uh, see what it feels like. I guess nicotine is a stimulant. Am I stimulated? The papers I'm using are uh, Hornet's Honey. So they're honey flavored from Hornet. Hmm. Finest quality rolling paper. Well, that's good to know. I only want the finest quality things in my life. Oh, you have to learn to breathe. So apparently I don't really know how to make cigarettes by rolling papers. So I'm going to use my surgical instruments here. I'm not a doctor, but I play one in the bosque. So I'm going to use a vegetable. In this case, a carrot. I'm going to clear out a little hole in it. Oh, I can totally feel the nicotine. I was also thinking, <clears throat> like with other types of herbs, um, often it's good to make a tincture. And uh, so I could put some of this in alcohol, in tobacco, and uh, make a nicotine tincture. If people like the effect of nicotine then, it would uh, be a nice soft effect perhaps, softer than smoking it. Smoking is a very rapid delivery system to the lungs, so that might be a better way to go. This carrot, I think, will be an excellent it's very convenient I have these fancy tools for this. Look at that. That's be excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try it out. <clears throat> We'll load it up with some tobacco here. That works much better for me. Huh. <coughs> That's excellent.
Whoa. Well, it's definitely tobacco. I think uh, it works. That's great. <clears throat> yeah, my next experiment then will be a tincture. I think that uh, putting the tobacco in alcohol and leaving it for a week or so will perhaps cause the nicotine to go into the alcohol. I'll have to read whether nicotine is alcohol soluble or not. I don't know if that'll work. If it does work, the tobacco would also be preserved very well. And you could make a bunch and get a bunch of people uh, high on nicotine. I'm not sure what the effect would be. Like, what would be the social effect if you had a bunch of people very high on nicotine? Huh. Well, there is a rule against smoking in the bosque. I could change that to be, uh, you can only smoke tobacco grown in the bosque. And that would uh, remove all the chemical issues with it, the contaminants that they put in cigarettes. And uh, also it would make sure it was uh, an organic product from here and we didn't pay any taxes on it to support new wars or anything. So, I don't know. I don't know what to think, but I, I don't enjoy the feeling personally. I have to talk to some smokers and uh, see if they actually enjoy the feeling of nicotine or if they're just habituated to smoking. Well, I found a bird's nest behind this painting right here. That's pretty cool. There's a little plumbing bird nest probably. ¿Qué piensas? Mejor que un cigarrillo, de verdad, y no ni más natural. Y si ataranta, si da la el golpe. Es que ustedes las cortaron las las que estaban secas de la planta y y, y si las cortas frescas, estas van las pones a secar y después estas van a tener más más el, el pegamento que tienen más la nicotina es mejor frescas. La sombra. So uh, Chilino's theory is that uh, we should collect the fresh leaves and then dry those, which we're doing now in the solar dehydrator. This, this one was collected, uh, oh, I can totally feel it. This one was collected dry on the plant, but he thinks it should dry uh, off the plant. Another option would be to use a vaporizer, or I guess vaping is popular now too. Está seco, no está tan remojado. Te digo. Sí, sabe. Es lo mismo. <laughs> All right, so I put it in my mouth on the side with saliva. We'll see what happens. So apparently the bees like these as well. Now even in places where we've collected the seeds before and then we were messing with them and dropped them on the ground, the plants grew. Thank you for so joining us. If you like the video, please share it, like the channel. And uh, ah, my mouth tastes weird now. <laughs>